Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Gemini. This is for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the month of June. So this is for June. All right, so you're not what you know. A lot of you won't be watching this in June, it's being recorded in April, but this reading is for June. We get a lot of people that don't want to, you know. Oh, this happened in the past. If you don't learn from your mistakes, you often repeat them. So let's see what's going to happen in June of 2020. You can deny and you can say this is the past because you don't like what you hear. Or you don't want to believe it. Or it's already happened. Gemini, June 2020. What do we have for Gemini in June? One card, please. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So in June, you will be having a very strong magnetic attraction to somebody. You will be. Looks good, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Uh, very, very uh, intense by the looks of things very powerful connection. Take a look at that. That's beautiful, Gemini. Let's get a couple of these. Magnetic. It's very magnetic. It's like, wow. Wow, you may be opposites, but opposites attract. It's interesting. Or you may be very much alike. Whatever is going on, if you see, it's just like you're drawn to this person. It's unbelievable. Lightning. Ooh. Control your anger or you will be sorry. Yikes. This is June. June. Control your anger or you will be sorry. Hmm. Must be you're going to have an incident in June. Something's going to happen. Scales. Keep your life in balance. Interesting. You're going to need to keep your life in balance. You could be dealing with Libra. I don't know. Mm. Oh, goldfish. Increase increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. So are you, you are going to be having an increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. And I usually don't look at the bottom of this deck, but for some reason I did. Older man, dealing or relationship with an older man. So, hmm, interesting. If you are the masculine watching this, you're still going to be dealing with an older man. Maybe this man is going to give you the money. There is something to do with money. They're going to increase your material wealth or, your, or something like that. There's definitely an older man here in the mix. There could be some somebody that you get. There's, there could be some opposition. Because if you think about a magnet even, um, there's usually some sort of opposition. Um, so, we're going to take that older man as well. So, June is going to be very interesting. You're going to need to keep your life in balance. You need to balance out the... Um, opposition with the attraction by the looks of things okay hmm interesting what do we have for june for gemini june what do we have for june Ooh, the chariot first of all right off the bat there's one underneath it. i don't know what it is the chariot and it happens to be in the upright so this is moving in the right direction moving very fast somebody may be traveling to you you may be traveling to them this is a forward movement in a positive direction opposition again so you are definitely going to be dealing with some opposition this month okay opposites attract 
So you could be dealing with somebody that is opposite. And if you think about opposite on the zodiac wheel, it's a Sagittarius. It doesn't have to be, but that just came to my mind. I don't even know. Um, but, or you could be dealing with this is a Cancer. It doesn't matter. This is a Scorpio. I would consider this a Scorpio, this lightning. I, I don't know why. I just consider that a Scorpio. This is a Libra. I would consider this a Pisces. But it doesn't matter. Anyhow, um, you're going to be moving very quickly in a new direction. Somebody is could be traveling. They could be traveling to you. Some of you may be moving. Whatever's going on, there is definitely going to be some opposition. This person is different than you. Opposite. They're opposite. They're different than you. They're different in a very big way. They could be of a different um, color, okay? I don't know. It doesn't have to be. But there's definitely some opposition. Uh, they're opposite, but you're very drawn. You're very drawn to this person, okay? Um I just looked on the bottom. This is going to happen so fast. Things are happening fast. Really, this is a shock. Okay, this is a shock. This is the Knight of Swords. This is somebody rushing into your life so fast that you don't even see it coming. So something is happening. Uh, you may be in shock. Okay, this is shock. Lightning is shock. Okay, this is a shock factor. Okay, and this this could be angry. So, and this is angry. So, somebody could get angry. Maybe it's you. Maybe it's somebody that you're dealing with. Um, something is going to happen that is going to be a shock for you. Okay, it's going to be shocking. Now, this is a delivery. It could be a shocking delivery of some sort. You could be getting something. I don't know what it is. Somebody is arriving very fast. They're arriving very quickly into your life. Interesting. Let's see what's underneath. Ooh, the King of Swords. Now, I don't know if this could be you. Could be whoever you're dealing with. And this is somebody getting angry. Okay, this King of Swords in reverse. This is somebody that is cold. They don't communicate well. Um, they don't know what they want. They're hard. Could be abusive. You may, and I don't know who this person is. Maybe it's this older man. Could be a father. Could be a husband. Could be an ex. Could be an ex. Oh my God. So, yeah, this guy is abusive. Mentally abusive. Verbally. Maybe even physically. Anyhow, this is a very upset. Now, I don't know if this is you or somebody that you're dealing with, but this is not communicating well. Lack of clarity. Undecisive. Ungrounded. Um, don't care. Don't care. Somebody that is uncaring and cold and hard. So we have a very cold, hard individual here who doesn't care. Is very self-centered. Selfish. This guy is selfish. So I don't know who this person is, but they came out together. It feels like this person is coming. They're coming. They're coming. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see what else we get. Could be any sign, because we all take on these traits. Ooh, somebody that is questioning their power. They're questioning their authority. We're having, we have somebody here that is under a lot of social pressure. This definitely could be a father, a father figure questioning his authority. He's losing his power. He's lost his power. And if you think about a narcissist, for example, when a narcissist loses his power, what does he do? He comes a rushing back in to steal. You know, he doesn't want to lose that supply. So I don't know if that is the case or what. You may have a new attraction or somebody that you are deeply drawn to. Or it could be even this person. You, you're going to have to be careful. You are definitely going to be care, have to be careful. There's somebody that is abusing their power. And, so, and you got to look at this from another angle. If you, you say that you are dealing with a person that you have a strong magnetic attraction with, this could be their ex. Okay? There, we have a narcissist here. I'm sorry, the words came out of my mouth. i got to say it. Okay, we have we have a narcissist here. This narcissist is not happy with the movement, not happy with some sort of attraction. And I think that they, um, I don't know, 
they're gonna they're, they could do be explode you think about that that knight of swords that's explosive explosive behavior there is somebody here that is questioning their authority they're questioning their power they're feeling disgraced and they're not happy that a relationship is not on the same page anymore so they're having a hard time doing the right thing because of society now this doesn't have to be um, a lover okay this could be a father it could be somebody else there is somebody that is under a lot of social pressure to um, prove something and it's whatever they're trying to do it's not even logical okay it's not even law and now I didn't I just shuffle I'm pretty sure that I did we'd have to back the camera up I'm pretty sure I shuffled to get this card anyhow we got somebody that is rushing in very very fast they are not happy they're not happy they're not happy with something this is let go this is somebody that has let go of some baggage they've let go of a burden they're no longer holding on this is they've let go five of pentacles reverse there's abandonment there's um an unhealthy relation disgrace again so there's a major loss so somebody is very unhappy about the loss they're unhappy that they have been let go they've been left out in the cold they're really 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 unhappy they're happy that you i think have made a conscious change and let them go so I don't know what the hell is going on here, Gemini, but it feels as though you're in the driver's seat. You're moving in the right direction. You, I feel like you have let something go. You have dropped it. Maybe you've dropped weight or you, this is dropping a heavy burden, dropping a heavy weight. Um, coming out of a dark period. You're coming out of the darkness. You're coming out of... Uh, the victim mentality you're mastering your emotions you're in a really good place it feels like this is somebody that is coming back somebody that abandoned you they're coming back they don't want you to let them go oh my friggin god who is this person oh my god um oh now we got him in reverse this is somebody who is very explosive the, the the knight of swords in reverse is a know-it-all that is looking for a fight this is somebody that is insincere this is a bully this is dangerous somebody that has mental health problems that is out of control so <laughs> Zamadai, you are going to be dealing with somebody that is going to test you okay this is somebody who is going to test you and they are going to test you well okay they're going to see you're going to be tested did you really let them go did you let them go because they're gonna they're gonna push every button that you have somebody's gonna push your buttons they're going to push your buttons I feel like you're gonna have to really really uh, be careful to control yourself master your emotions control your anger you're gonna need to master your emotions and, and remain disciplined and determined to keep yourself under control because that is the meaning of the chariot card you know you're you know you're not you're not holding on to this baggage anymore do not go back to this person who is explosive and dangerous and um ignorant this person is a bully you are dealing with somebody that is abusive you've got somebody that is abusive here that wants to keep control over you they don't want to lose their power over you it's either a libra gemini or aquarius a cancer or a taurus okay this person is going to be very 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 upset i feel like they are going to be upset that you have let them go that you've let them you're not and you don't care you don't care anymore it's like i don't give a shit i found somebody else um yeah four of swords reverse yeah the love has died and they don't want it to die whoever you this is exhausted there's health issues you really need to take a maybe you need to go on a retreat or something maybe you need to get away okay it feels like uh somebody is feeling isolated they're feeling alone they don't want this situation to be over with um 
Wow. And I think it's because you're just not putting in effort anymore. Not putting any more effort into the relationship. Somebody's not. Not putting any more effort into the relationship, into the commitment. Giving up. Um, letting it go. Somebody is letting go. They're letting go of something or they have let go. They have let go. And this is somebody that is very frustrated. So we, ha we have, it's, it's like now that you're in control, you've taken back your power. You're in the driver's seat. You've taken back your reins. This person is pissed. They're pissed. They're frustrated and they want to come back. They abandon you and now they want to come back. Now that you haven't given them any more energy, you don't want to be with them. Yeah, reluctant to move on, reluctant to take a new approach. The Six of Swords reversed. So whoever you were dealing with um, is refusing to move on. And they don't want you to move on. They don't want you to move on. They don't want you to find peace. They want to keep you trapped. This is like a hoovering attempt. If you know about narcissists, it really, really is. And, and you know, maybe, maybe this chemistry is with that person. Maybe this is a lesson that you need to learn. This is a card of transformation. It's a card of willpower. You are absolutely going to need to have willpower. You're going to need to have willpower. You may be so attracted to this. You know, it's, it looks like it's toxic to me. undecided two of wands you you're going to be you're going to be presented with two paths okay and you're going to be undecided i think that um something suddenly arrives into your life it's a sudden arrival and it changes it's an opportunity this person doesn't want you to leave them in the past they don't want you to, they don't want you to move forward you got somebody doesn't want you to move forward they may see I think they do see that you have a you have a connection with somebody else. A deep one. And you're focusing on the future. That's exactly what this is. You are focusing on the future. You're leaving them behind. You've let them go and oh my god, here they come. Be prepared for this person to show up. This person is going to show up. came flying out. I don't know if the initials are B and J or J and B. Doesn't have to be, but this is, this is, uh, you know, a lack of awareness. Somebody that isn't probably very spiritual. Um, there's something that is about to be revealed. They've been hiding their, tr their true feelings. They've been lying. They haven't been telling the truth. They've been blocking their emotions. They weren't very receptive in the past. They were ignoring their in gut. They're ignor ignoring their true feelings. And now they're they they well they're they're God. Their intuition shallow. You were dealing with somebody that was very shallow. And now they're coming with an offer. They want to start over. Good could be an apology. Gemini. Who is this person? You may be choosing to be single. You're choosing to be single. You don't want anybody, whatever. Or you got somebody new. There's somebody new here. And whoever you were with in the past that you've given up on, you ain't giving them an ounce. They're like, oh, hell no. Hell no. Yeah, nine of wands. This person is wounded. Okay, there's some sort of hard feelings here. Uh, you can, you better be on the guard. Okay. Be on guard, be on the lookout because, uh, you, you're going to need to defend yourself and you're going to need to protect yourself. Okay. You are going to need to protect yourself from somebody that does not have good intentions. Somebody is coming into your life that you are going to have, or that you have had a strong magnetic attraction to. 
you're going to need to defend yourself and protect yourself from this person. I feel like this person blames you for everything they always have and they will continue to do so. I don't think that this person has changed one bit. Oh, they haven't changed now, have they? Interesting. I just saw that. They have not changed. So there is somebody that is coming in that has not changed, but they are going to present themselves at the beginning that they have. Okay. They may even say, you know, we're meant to be. We're meant to be. I think this is all happening because you are developing. You're moving forward. You're moving in that new direction. You're focusing on your future. Uh, maybe you're traveling. You're doing things. Uh, you know, your ships are coming in. This person sees it. You're vi you're victorious. You're be you're very successful. You're very determined. You're you're in the driver's seat. Okay, you're in the driver's seat, and this person is like, "Oh my God, I gotta take I gotta take the wheel here. I gotta take that wheel right away." So I think that you need to be damn careful, Gemini, that you got somebody coming back that wants to, a reunion with you that has not changed. Doesn't have to be a lover. Could be it could be a father figure. Or this is for your partner. Okay, because, and, and it can be like that. There is, I feel like it's like an X. I really, really do. I feel like it's an X. <sighs> Let's get one more of these for Gemini. One more card for Gemini for June, please. One more card for Gemini for June. Very soon. Oh, God. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. You're going to have to make a choice. You're going to have to make a choice. Do you want to continue to move forward in the right direction? Or do you want to go back to somebody that abused you? Good luck.